Hi, sweet friend. My name is Volta Voloshin Smith, and I'm the artist behind Color Snack. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am really excited to share with you my seven days of summer series. Next up, we have a sunflower, which I feel like is a very quintessential summer flower. So uh, we'll be painting this little guy. <music> I was inspired by the sunflower that I saw on Unsplash and I'm gonna start so it's essentially a sunflower here and then it's just a singular sunflower inside of a vase and I'm gonna start with the circular kind of part of the sunflower and I'm starting with yellow okra so I'm doing like a little circle with yellow ochre first and then I'm going to grab kind of like my darkest brown that I have in the palette and before this first layer dries I'm just gonna drop in this darker brown all around so I want I want this color to kind of bleed into the yellow ochre but then I still have I want to have a little lighter center all right and then i'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow into orange or actually a little bit of orange into my yellow so that i have kind of like a nice sunflowery yellow and then for the petals I'm essentially going to press down on my brush and then lift off and press down again and then lift off. So I'm using um, a size number six, which allows me to basically use the brush as a little stamping tool. So I'm pressing down and then lifting off. Pressing down. Actually, might make these a little bit longer. Some of these petals could be a touch longer than the other ones. And it's okay if they're, you know, they're not going to be perfect. And actually, if you play around with the size and the width of some of these, it's gonna make it look better because, you know, a flower isn't perfect. And then if you wanna add a slight curve to to the, the petals as well, that'll look nice. And also adding like a few little, little petals in the background. So not only is this a fun little sketch, but also a great, a great exercise to practice this type of brush movement where you're pressing down and then lifting off, pressing down. And you can even mix in a touch of yellow okra into your yellow as well and make, uh, add those little petals in the background so they're going to be a touch a touch darker so not a not as a bright yellow as like the top petals but just to give it some contrast all right so we got our sunflower and then the vase is super simple I'm gonna use a little bit of a turquoise color and the, the way that the vase was in the photo was just like you have two slightly curved lines. They're wider at the top, but then they come, come together. So it's going to look something like this, and then you have a, um, a slight curve at the bottom. And of course, you can play around with the shape of your vase. I just really liked um, the one that I saw. 
and so that was kind of my inspiration here so I'm, with a clean brush I'm just coming in and kind of softening softening this vase it is a glass vase and transparent so that's why I don't want to necessarily like fill it all in and also because it's transparent and our flower has a stem most definitely I want to add a bit of a green line in here so that you can see maybe a tiny leaf you have the impression that it's inside of water and inside of this vase and um, let's see maybe I'm gonna add a touch of a shadow or just like give it a little bit of um, something to stand on so it's not just floating and I can soften these lines a little bit if you added a touch too much of you know your black or your gray you can always come in with a clean brush and like lift it off a little bit and you could either leave it like this or you could punch up the darker areas some more so I'm just grabbing a little bit more of the dark brown and I'm doing like this very kind of repetitive motion with my brush so adding almost like stippling but I just kind of want to give the impression that there's uh, those sunflower seeds that you can see so just give it a little bit more texture totally optional but I think it can make this sunflower look a little bit better there we go and let's see maybe one last thing I'm just gonna add a bit more of a shadow a cast shadow here to the side you can soften it There we go. And you can also grab a little bit of yellow okra and maybe go over some of these petals, like add a line kind of down the center to show the folding, like the folds of the petals. Other than that, it's pretty much ready. Maybe a touch more dark, darker green here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I will continue to create fun and approachable watercolor tutorials. See you in the next one.